Hello YouTube, what is going on? CaptainNick88 here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create particles and what the settings do, and I'll also be showing you how to add and edit OBJ files, custom 3D objects, and Panzoid Clipmaker 2. Basically, all you're going to do is go into Panzoid Clipmaker 2, and I'm just going to click F11 here so that it goes full screen. You're going to notice I have a light. I would recommend you adding a light uh, just so you can have the OBJ has um, light on it. Um, I don't know if it would really matter, but I have a light, so you can add one of those. What you're going to do is you're going to go to the Objects tab right here, and you're going to click Add Object. You're going to notice it says Particles and Custom, o op custom Object. Sorry. Uh, this is going to add the uh, particles and this will add the 3d obj file So first we're going to go to particles and we're going to select it. You're going to actually notice that particles have created themselves and uh, You can basically that that's weird, but you can click this dice and customize them uh, randomly until you like something like a particle or you can do uh, something else. You can create them yourself. So let's pretend that this was how we created it. So we're going to add a color. It's hard to see. And we're going to set it to white. And let's just set the, the transparency to max. We're going to delete all these other sizes. And we're going to set this to a little bit less than white. This is how to create the background smoky type of particles. Um, you can, I'll, I'll tell you the settings though. So if you don't want to create this, you want to create other particles, you'll know what the settings do. For So for the smoky, just have the number of particles set to 1000 and the emitter rate also set to 1000. This will um, basically say that when the time reaches one, all the particles will have been created and will continue through the rest of the particle lifetime. That brings us to the next step, particle lifetime. Particle lifetime, I'm going to set this one to 3 as I don't really need any value more than 3. Um, these are just background particles, so they're not really going to be moving that much. You don't want them to. You want them to really be stationary by themselves. So now that the particle lifetime is 3, and we have this set to 1000, 1000. We want all the particles to be created at the very start of the intro. So we're going to go here in our timeline and we're going to go to the first red keyframe right here of particles and we're going to set that to 1. That means all the particles are now created at the very start of the intro. Now we're going to go to the end of the timeline. And, just, and our particle lifetime is 3, so we're going to set this time to 3. This will tell us that all the particles will complete their animation by the end of the intro. If I change the particle lifetime to 1, the intro uh, animation would go through 2 times because it's already set to 1, if that makes sense. So it's math. It's a little bit of math, but uh, if you want the animation to keep repeating, want set the particle lifetime to be less than the ending time, if that makes sense. Okay. So here is your position mode. I'm going to set this one to box, as box is most commonly used for background particles, but you can use sphere or disk. I would recommend box the most for beginners, though, just because it's a little bit easier to understand. Most things in Panzoid are in box mode, anyway. So you're going to go to the spread, and you're going to set this to 500, 500, and then 500. If you exit out of preview mode, you'll notice it's actually in a box. So th this is basically what it's going to look like. And it's actually off-centered, but we will fix that um, later. So there you go. Everything's centered. And uh, that's what our particles are going to kind of look like. But we're going to change everything because we don't like the way it looks. Speed mode basically just says... Um, like it, how fast they're moving left or right um and spread basically says are the values all going to be the same so are are all the particles going to move at that exact speed so let's say we have this set to 10 
all the particles are going to move uh, to the right 10. See that? So moving to the right 10. If we have the spread to 10 as well, so if, let's say we set this to 10. Now the particles, some particles are going to move um, 20, are they going to move to the right either 20 or less or 0 or in more? If that makes sense. So basically, now the range of movement is from 0 to 20 rather than just being 10. So the particles won't all move at the same rate. This is good if you want um, a little inconsistency, I guess, not everything the same. So that's how you guys do that. Um, this would be right and left, up and down, forward and back. So that's what those settings are. But we're going to disable them. Gravity is basically by the end of the intro or by the end of the no by the end of the particle lifetime where are the particles going to be basically the same thing as the um, other one except there's no spread um, again I'm not going to be using that rotation basically same thing as speed you can't really notice it because they're circles but um, it just affects the rotation and rotation speed so go back to speed mode they're very very similar spread just makes it how different or how inconsistent are they going to be I'm going to set the blending mode to normal because if I set it to add you're going to notice it just becomes a lot whiter and you don't see these these shadows notice the shadow on this line right here kind of goes away and it's everything looks a little weird so now it has a little bit more character I'm gonna go to the texture it's set to ring you can go with artsy which has a cool smoky one or you could just select smoky I'm gonna choose smoky just because I uh, can so now you're gonna notice it looks like that again we have not finished this is too bright for us this is too much so we're gonna go to color select color and we're gonna go and let's actually make it a little bit blue not too much blue but just just a little bit so now it's blue and it's still too much i don't know if the text would be um as bold on this as if we lower the transparency so let's lower the transparency until it looks about right so there that looks about right the text will be able to be seen on it again guys you could change the settings customize it the way you want you do not have to do it this exact way okay now we're going to go add a custom OBJ. So let's select that and it's going to open up our um, our file explorer. I'm going to go find your OBJ guys that you've downloaded. Mine is in here and this is what an OBJ file looks like. So I'm going to click on that and it's going to add it in. Okay, I'm just going to move the camera back a little bit to show you guys. So there you guys, there it is. But we don't like it. It's all white. You can't see uh, the shadows. You can't see anything. So first thing we're going to do is go on, click on the shapes and change the appearance to custom for both of them. That'll give it some shadow. And most files will have a image. So go to the texture under op or whatever you're using and this would be the op because this is the scope and one of the things was scope so we're gonna assume that op the color goes to the op so let's select color and there it goes so most of the gun is the now the dragon lore same thing with the scope select scope so there is your dragon lore guys and there are your particles it looks really cool and you can move it and it just looks super nice so there you guys have it there is your obj your custom dragon lore in panzoid clip maker now you can make it a cool animation or an intro or whatever you're planning to do with it and um yeah that's pretty much it guys if this helped you tell me down in the comment section i would really like to know make sure you guys like the video if you want to see more tutorials Actually, the next tutorial will be grouping and text movement, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Until next time, guys, peace and bye-bye.